It's the moment we've been waiting for. The Corona Open J Bay final is about to begin. Rookie Frederico Marias taking on Felipe Toledo in brilliant conditions out here at Jeffries Bay. Joe Tupel alongside former world champ Martin Potter. Potts, the stage is set. We've had multiple tens. The two of the most informed athletes are fighting for one prestigious prize. 10,000 points on the Jeep leaderboard, $100,000. And we'll see how this one's going to play out. Two different schools of thought with the way they approach this win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, two different schools of thought, yet very similar approaches. Uh, and here we go, kicking off the final. 40-minute final already starting off with Frederico Marias getting his way down the line. Nice jam down to the bottom to set up a lengthy pit. He's got the vision and some room to move for a moment there. Now Toledo on the answer. Coils up for a solid twist and wrap right on the money. Jams it off the coping. And there comes that rail work once again from Toledo. A lot of froth on the face. Manages to sneak in a top turn through the turbulence. Real bumpy there and he's still fighting for the finish. Earning that top turn. They're never giving up. <laughs> wow. Driving hard through the down carve. And now he's going to get out of there. So even with some roadblocks on his way down the line, Toledo knows how important it is to finish on his feet. You know, and also for me, the, the fatigue factor. You know, Felipe had, what, probably about a 30-minute break in between. I mean, it's a very demanding way physically, mentally, you're, you're tired. Let's have a look at Felipe putting a lot of energy into this sort of, to me, a, a marginal wave, kind of very interesting wave selection for Felipe. Normally with this white water, you can see there just trying to fight his way through. And right there again, almost losing it. Just the ability to pull that off is insane. Frederico Marais, just a, a small score to kick things off. And I think this wave, in the context of the final, will not be a keeper for Felipe. Really solid on his feet and just had those roadblocks just because of the waves, because of the wave, that foam from the wave previous slowed him down. Now Frederico already on his second effort. A little high line wrap, now he's down to the bottom of the wave. Driving through, holding that rail. And now running after some open face. Drives hard through that down carve section. Another little jam off the lip and pulls in nice and deep. Another racetrack section that's proving to be impossible at the moment, Putz. Representing Portugal on the championship tour as they're looking for their first championship tour win for their country as we watch Frederico's last strike. Yeah, well, Frederico just trying to get the ball rolling. Just a, a small wave, a 3.0 on his opening wave. Big extension of the body right there on his tiptoes on that bottom turn. Now he starts to unlock. Beautiful turn right there. We've seen a lot of that from Frederico. Just holding that rail through and then right here, pulling in nice and deep, but just a little bit too deep on that occasion. You can see how fast that wave runs off. You've got to come into that section just literally blazing. Uh, and Frederico, you can see him pulling in nice and deep there, but unfortunately that wave just feeling comfortable. He's feeling at home um, and he's looking pretty good, let me tell you. Frederico Marias under priority, starts to wind up. First turn, a speed racer down the line. He'll high line again to set up a big bottom turn to come around the corner. Just a little sweep. He's just hoping for a double up here through the car park section, and he'll jam it high off the lip. This thing shoving him down the line past impossibles, and he packs it here. Sneaky exit. And Toledo's heating up. Big rooftop from oh. Toledo in control. <laughs> Draws out the layback down car. Stalling, waiting, passing Frederico, starting to double up tons of foam all around him, but he's got his rail line. Looking for a place to go. He has to get out of there. Strider, Raspberry, Wazalewski enjoying the elements as we check out this last wave. How is all this weather affecting the performance? Well, you know, you got the offshore winds just paddling into these waves. You'd probably be going blind and then having to shake it off once you're in. And now that this rain has started to pelt up the face, you've got that constant basic offshore, you know, wind blowing this 
rain and water right into your face, so it's probably a little hard to see everything going down the line. You have to be surfing, squinted, but going for it nonetheless. These guys, the swell has just been pumping all the way through this thing. So Felipe finding off the bottom there, coming up into the corner, big gouge, wow. You know, these waves are setting up so perfectly that it's borderline too big, but it's not too big yet. And it's just perfectly wrapping down the point. The direction is holding it nice as he banks up again right there. And these waves are just giving him more space to turn. Wow, this is such a pleasure to be out here watching these guys. Huge rooftop right there. Are you kidding me? It is just firing out here right now. These guys going to town on the face. Strider Potts has 10 fingers on his hands right now. He's asking for another 10 for the panel for this performance from Felipe. Wanted the bonus barrel. Didn't get it there, but the damage was done on every section. He gave us something. Potts, let's have a look. Yeah, well, the sand section uh, didn't really co cooperate for uh, Felipe. A lot of white water on the face, but I think all the damage was done. I mean, you, you, you know, Frederico's going to have to crank it up. Why? Because Felipe is. He's putting a little bit more into his turns. Look at this maneuver here from him. Holding that rail, beautiful, big, solid wave from Toledo. And look at this. I mean, this is called, this is what you call confidence, complete control. He's got that acrobatic style of surfing that we just love from Felipe. Comboing it up. I mean, look at it. Comes around the section, doesn't miss a beat, and then just hooks it right in the pocket of Jay Bay and then gives it that extra little extension of the body. Toledo is a madman with a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't agree with him anymore, Sean. As we think about that flow, what way that's so special? Well, it was absolutely committed. I actually thought when he went up, I thought the wind was going to blow him over the side. You know, he's not the biggest bloke in the world, but he just held that and held that and held that and held it like... And, and then he just dropped out of the sky and made it. I never thought he was going to make it. So I think from the judge's perspective, surprise. Uh, there was no like anticipation he was going to make it. The judges were as blown away as I was. Incredible. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> we're back into action with more from Felipe Toledo. Fades the carve. Now he's down the line now. That one's not going to give him a double up, so he's over it. 9-1-7 on his last. So Federico looking for a big answer. First turn there for Federico, clean, sweeping car, always can control. Fading rapid cutback for the surfer from Portugal. And now he's fading, hoping this thing goes nice and round. He's deep, he's behind the section, completely gone, and now comes flying out. You can tell him thinking about staying in the pit longer. That's a tough decision to make. Solid move. Marias gets the completion. And then maybe the ability later on to catch a couple yourself. I mean, here we go, Toledo. Catching up halfway through Toledo. Driving off the top. Getting a big arc in the pocket as well. He's already thinking about getting barreled. Disappears for a moment there, just trimming beautifully to ensure the exit. Little speed jam, Toledo thinking about a finishing move. Late hit on the float, he recovers in the flats. 9-1-7 way before, he's getting rid of a 5-8-3 now. Waiting for Frederico's wave, this is a bigger set wave as he scratches into it. Now he drops down, comes around the section, waiting for that wave to stand up. It's all about letting J-Bay be the hero and you're along for the ride. Marias off the bottom. There is that trademark turn. I think he's going to have to light it up a little bit more. Now he waits for the section on the inside. Draws off the bottom. Now he sees it. Now he drives through the barrel, standing tall, driving through that next section, disappears, and comes flying out at 100 miles an hour. Almost could have stayed in that thing a little bit longer, but it's easier said than done, let me tell you. Unbelievable. How'd that pit look from your angle, Strider? Absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that thing. It's just throating down the line, and he kind of curled out of it. And, you know, John John's out here in the lineup, kind of thought maybe he could stay in it too. It's, a, you know, that split-second decision. Those ones that run off down the end go so fast. They, 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 they call it the impossibles, but, hey, if you make that, you're going to get that great score. It's a big risk-reward factor there. Felipe just going through the roof, enjoying some time out here. I mean, just rapping, just having so much fun, going so fast, pulling into a little barrel of his own. He was just stalling, holding the wall perfectly, comes out for the little bit of a head whip, and then comes to the inside here and sets up a nice little finish. So 
It was really technical. These inside turns are so hard to do. He flies off into the flats. I mean, the projection out from the lip with that in the wind, that's a really, really technical. Thank you, Strider, as we get the vision one more time of Felipe. Potts, it seems like Toledo has had more time to really stall and play with the barrel today on finals day. There's a couple of runaway sections, but he's been able to control those inside corners a bit more. Well, it's unbelievable speed management. So uh, this is uh, the split screen here. This is uh, two ways to get that 8.33. Uh, both guys surfing incredibly well. You heard uh, Richard Marsh talk about just hold that rail a little longer, whereas uh, Felipe's got a little bit more whip in his turns. But uh, I think Felipe's got that ability as well to hold that rail. A little bit of a longer barrel for Felipe, a little bit of bigger barrel for, um, for Frederico. So there's uh, different ways to ride this wave, different ways to get that 8.33, both unbelievable. Seeing the finish down the line, the late that went on to repeat events. De Souza's win was a QS, so Felipe could be the first Brazilian if he wins to take over the CT here. During the break, Frederico got a gem of a win. Well, Frederico Marais needing a 9.17, Joe, and this kid's been dropping bombs this entire event, taking down world champions with unbelievable surfing. He's going to need it here on this wave, already off to a great start. Just holding that rail, banging it up through the lip, mixing it up, trying to give uh, that point of difference all the way down through the inside. Now the wave starts to come into that car park section. Now we start to look down the line at Impossibles. What's he got for us? He pulls into the barrel and sneaks out the end there. So not a, not a deep barrel there to finish off, but a lot of big waves out the back. Felipe straight into the tube on the takeoff. He comes out. These guys are going back to back. Felipe looking to replace an 8.33. Frederico Marais looking for a 9.17. Smaller wave for Felipe. He's going to have to light it up, up and over the top. Now we start to see him use that rail. Low off the bottom, springing into step. As he comes off the bottom again, banging it up through the lip there. Lightning fast turns from Felipe Toledo. And another big turn from him as he comes through the inside, looking for the tube now. Slows down. Not offering in on that occasion. Up through the lip and decides to kick out of that. So Philippe Toledo looking to improve on an 8.3. Made no mistakes. That's for sure. Let's have a look. Beginning of the wave. First turn. Almost a check turn just to get things going. Second turn, a little bit of a 3-4 drop. A nice smooth third turn. Clean turn number four. As he draws off the bottom, now the wave starts to stand up and he holds that rail through that inside section. Big, huge bottom turn. There we go. Nice vertical through the lip. Starting to mix it up as he comes through the inside. There's that swooping maneuver from Marias. Another jamming turn. Show them the judges variety. Just looked at it real quick. Felipe was on the way behind it. Let's see what Marias did here. He's looking for the lead. Nice opening turn from Marias. Almost lost it right there on that one. There's that swooping turn. Just setting it up getting himself back into the guts of the wave. Now he starts to unleash that foot right back on the tail pad as he drives into that maneuver. Again, through the lip. So connecting multiple times, showing some variety. Another turn there from Marais. He needs to mix it up through the inside. Now he's looking for the tube. Gets covered up slightly and pulls out the back and a big score for Frederico Marais match up with big scores they both have had tens along the way and taken down some of the biggest names felipe toledo got things underway with beautiful rail work turned into 917 and got the lead yeah i, I honestly thought this might have gone a little higher there was a, there was some great variety look at the size of the wave it was clean toledo just unleashed everything and then including this i mean that was insane from felipe toledo the crowd absolutely went wild and then to back it up with that a 9.17, maybe just a little bit undercooked in my eyes. Frederico Marias, a 9.4, which is the best scoring wave, uh, hit, wave of, the, of the heat so far. But we've so far left. Eight minutes and 30 remaining. These guys aren't done yet. Frederico Marias, one to never, ever give up. He's been in a combo before against John John Florence. He came back and got himself out of that with a 10-point ride. Can he do it again, Joe? He's going to need something special come the back part of this heat. Seeing Frederico Marais look so steady, so easy on his rails, and timing this end section pit, he had such an amazing vision and so much room to move. 
One of the best barrels we've seen of this matchup. Frederico celebrating the 8-3-3 to the 9-4 as Toledo was pushed to get his lead back with this 8.83 of his own. Yeah, I mean, look at the turns that Felipe's doing. You know, Marias, he's holding that rail, yes, maybe a little bit longer, but Toledo's got a little bit more zip, a little bit more zag in his turns. But this turn right here, I mean, that is total commitment. That is really just amazing stuff. And then to come straight out of that, into that next turn, nothing short of amazing from both these guys. What a final we've got on our hands. Felipe Toledo from Brazil, Frederico Amarais from Portugal. Who is going to win? Seven and a half minutes remaining, and we'll be able to crown a new champion here at the Corona Open at the famous break of Jeffreys Bay. Incredible matchup. Two new names looking to get a part of that prestigious list of past champs. It seemed like things really started opening up for Frederico as he got more confidence. He doesn't have to hold back for another heat. He's leaving it all on the line, building from his sixes before and his last wave, the 9-4, that's really giving him a fighting shot. There's a couple judges on your point of view, Potts. Judge 5 think it Toledo's 9-1-7 was better than this last exchange. That's what makes it so close. Five opinions on the panel. Right now, Mariah is still chasing at 8.6. Wow, Joe. I mean, it's uh, Jeffries Bay has just been uh, on fire this last week. A win here for Toledo puts him in the top 10. Same's on the line for Frederico. Frederico now making Toledo use his priority. Front side rip into the pocket. Nice vertical off the top. Toledo big flow with some time to check the horizon. Wraps it in the pocket. Nice vertical again. Looking for something major through the inside wall. It's a down card. Now a little slap off the lip. Still some room, nose pick, reverse, just to seal it on the inside corner. And leaving Frederico alone for two minutes now with the lineup of Jeffries Bay to himself. Oh my, oh my. Everyone's holding their breath. It's coming down to this. Marias needs an 8.60 and he hops right out of there. There's one behind it though. Last of Toledo, 7-6, just like you thought Potts didn't change the requirement. Will Marais get another chance? I don't know. <laughs> Has dodged the bullet. What a final with multiple lead changes. Frederico ends up turning in the 9-4. Got the lead, but Toledo's answer was important to get right back in first. As we close out, one of the best events we've had at Jay Bay. The Corona Open. Jay Bay goes to Felipe Toledo. What a comeback for Toledo, the first from Brazil to win a championship tour event here at Jeffries Bay, and he redefined how to get the job done with one of the most high-performance radical approaches on road to the final. Two tens along the way, a 9-1-7 in the final, and an 18-point total. Your new number seven in the world, Felipe Toledo, as we head into Tahiti. responsibilities the chair off the beach especially when it's cold and raining you got stairs ahead of you maybe next to his tens his next favorite ride in the world as his feet won't touch the sand Felipe Toledo your 2017 Corona Open J-Bay champion